Greetings my saplings, in today's video we are going to be discussing the Yeezy 350 V2 Cloud White and Citroen non-reflective and reflective pairs. To be specific like always in these videos, we are going to be going over some release info, how to cop them, and of course like always some resale predictions. So let's kick it off with some release info. The release dates are as follows. The Cloud White Reflectives drop on September 19th, which actually happens to be in some hours, so if you're watching this and it happens to be too late, feel free to turn on post notifications and subscribe just so you stay 100% updated on any hype sneaker that's going to be releasing in the future. Cloud 350 Non-Reflective will be September 21st, Citroen Reflective September 24th, and Citroen Non-Reflective September 26th. However, I would like to mention that the dates do vary per site. For example, you'll notice September 26th for some sites but the majority of sites are actually going to be the 24th and 23rd a lot of this can update so for smaller updates feel free to follow my twitter which is keith adam 10 not only that here i will likely be making a sneaker updates video sometime soon retails for all men's are going to be 220 dollars as usual both for the reflectives and non-reflectives and then when it comes to the non-reflective pairs the preschool and toddler are going to be dropping as well preschool is 160 dollars toddler is only $140. Regarding stock, as usual with these reflective pairs, you could expect them to be extremely limited. However, when it comes to the non-reflective pairs, you should be able to easily get your hands on them, at least in sizes over 7, which still are in very high demand. With that out of the way though, why don't we move on to the how to cop portion of today's video. First thing I want to emphasize for you guys is to download the Adidas app and sign up for the draws so you have a chance to cop. Be sure to make as many accounts as possible with different information. The more you have, the better your odds are. The next major drop I want to discuss applies to all pairs on the mentioned dates, including the reflectives also. This is going to be Yeezy Supply, of course. For each product date, the drop time should be around 10 a.m. Eastern Time, but it is worth noting that past pairs have dropped at 6 a.m. Eastern Time for the reflective pairs without a password page, which means there's no warning whatsoever, unfortunately. I will likely tweet out for each of these drops my twitter is keith adam 10 um, no promises but of course i'll be sure to try my best for you guys regarding the bypass because i know a lot of you guys are wondering what's going on with the bypass well in this case one bot protection is up the bypass will just loop you into another queue after you try to bypass and once you go to the shipping page you'll just get a second queue that is until bot protection goes down when it comes to the reflective pairs it's very very likely that it's going to go out of stock before bot protection goes down that's how it's been on every single reflective pair. However, when it comes to the non-reflective pairs, you should expect bot protection to go down like halfway through the release or so. By this time, sizes under seven will likely be out of stock, but there's still money to be made in those larger sizes, those of which you'll be able to use the bypass for around an hour and a half or so into the drop. Regarding the common size resale, we'll discuss more of that as we get to the end of today's video. For now, let's continue with the how to cop guide. Also, if you're not familiar with how to make the bypass, it's very, very simple. You can add any random item to your cart you just bookmark the information page once you're in cart. You save that bookmark and you make as many as possible. Make sure to remove the dummy item from your cart, of course. And I would suggest making these as close to the drop as possible because they do expire. But don't make them too close to the drop. Otherwise, you'll notice that the queue takes way too long because everyone else is trying to make bypasses as well, which causes heavy traffic. Moving to some other sites I wanted to focus on. Uh, like usual with these guides, we're only going to be going over the sites where I know you don't need a monitor for, I know you don't need a bot for just some basic sites i know you have a great shot at for manual users so let's start off with some 7 a.m eastern drops for foot sites for example this is why i love yeezy drops because foot sites actually drop at 7 in comparison at 10 where you know there's a lot of other stuff going on it's somewhat more spread out which is fantastic so we have all the foot sites dropping you know that you know that's east bay foot action champs for locker for locker kids all those they're all going to be dropping at 7 a.m eastern time you have a phenomenal chance manually at all of these be signed into your account of course then also at 7 a.m eastern time another fantastic place to try manually is going to be jd sports and also finish line last time for the 500s jd sports was the only one that dropped and actually didn't even have a queue however i do expect this to be quite the contrary both of them are definitely going to be dropping but i would also expect there to be a queue on both of these sites i'm moving to some 10 a.m eastern sites some that i wanted to mention obviously
obviously, other than Yeezy Supply. Uh, you can also try Kicks USA, RU Villa, Kicks Sporting Goods, Shoe Palace, any of those. Please note though, when it comes to a lot of these sites, for example, for the Citrins, when it comes to foot sites, you'll notice that some sites are dropping on the 23rd in comparison to some even on the 24th. Then we got others on the 26th, such as Yeezy Supply. And all of this is subject to change, which I will try my best to keep you guys updated for. Of course, there's going to be many, many Europe retailers that are going to be dropping, but when it comes to you guys, manual users who don't have a monitor, who don't have a bot, I would highly suggest focusing on Foot Patrol. Foot Patrol will have their queue up. Stock should be live at 2 a.m. Eastern time. The clouds and also the Citroens are both already loaded, so you're fine there. Um, for anyone who's in Europe, a fantastic chance obviously would be Foot Locker Europe. And also, of course, the Adidas app in Europe, I would highly suggest doing the same as I mentioned for US, making as many entries as possible. But with that out of the way, why don't we move on to some resale predictions? So of course, kicking it off with the reflective pairs. I think this is kind of obvious to you guys by now. We've seen enough reflective drops by now to know that these are going to do incredible. So of course you should expect an incredible margin when it comes to these, tons of profits to be made. Then when it comes to the non-reflective pairs on both the Citroen and also the Cloud White, you should expect lots of profit to be made with sizes under seven and even seven to 12, obviously the smaller still being the better, you should expect some small profit to be made with a decent margin. And then of course, with any easy sizes over 14 are always going to be profitable, despite them maybe taking a little while to sell. When it comes to the preschool pairs and toddler pairs, yes, occasionally some sizes do tend to sell well, but it's so inconsistent and they are tough to flip. The focus for you guys should obviously be the men's pairs and that's any size just to be honest. That I'm actually going to conclude today's video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also subscribe and turn on post notifications just to stay 100% updated on anything I mentioned in today's video. With that, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Why are you always in my way? Knocking me over every single day. Get your foot off my foot. have run the other way now there's just one thing to say get your foot off my foot ah